My first question for y'all is, man, how did y'all find each other? How did y'all get together? Uh, man, crazy. We actually cousins. cousins. <laughs> yeah, like, so we cousins. Uh, she was rapping since she was about like seven, eight years old. And I used to always see her rapping like in the family and stuff like that before I even started trying to like actually rap. And you know, so we been, we just, we family. With Banks, uh, we went to college together. Uh, and we was always cool in college, but we never really talked about music until yeah. after college. And then that's when I linked up with him, probably back in 2018. Yep. I was like, I'm trying to start a little uh, independent record label. And then I just brought both of them together, and that's how these two met. Uh, he just dragged. coming together. Yeah, I, I, she was retired, technically retired from the rap game, but. Uh, how old I, are you to be retired? <laughs> I'm 26, but I was retired. And Kyrie is, if you know Kyrie, he's very persistent. And he does not take no for an answer. So he was like, come on, cuz, I just got one song. One song I need you on. And that one song turns to now I'm signed to a record label. Like, <laughs> so you pretty much, you always take on pretty much like the leader role. You kind of like God, God in the ship. Yeah, it's, it's a team effort. I do, I am the leader, but it's. It's a team effort. We got a, some guys behind the scenes that I know you already met. We got John, Amari, and they handle a lot of logistic things for us, um, finance-wise, social media, marketing-wise. But it's definitely a team effort when it comes to all five of us uh, taking ownership to this level. That's hard, man, because we got three artists here, but man, they talking about the team, and the team is very important. We talked about that last time mm -hmm. also, man. Uh, and we're here at the Lateral Bar here in uh, Norwood, kind of explain what y'all doing right now. Yeah, um, shout out to the lateral, shout out to Trey, uh, the owner, yeah. uh, for letting us, you know, use his space and, and really just put on a, a dope event. We just locked in his residency here and he's gonna be putting on these shows uh, every month, once a month. Uh, we got DJ Flight on the ones and twos. Uh, and yeah, we just really wanted to do something new, something different, uh, it's called The Season. That's what we're titling this whole concert series, it's called The Season and really wanted to do something new other than like, you know, a regular show that's been going on in the city, other than like an open mic or a showcase. We want to really like show them that we can, our versatility between us three as a label. So that's what it is, that's what it's really about. If y'all want to speak. It's about the people for real. Just, you know, 2020 COVID was like a big hit and not even just COVID, just, just getting cold. You know, people don't really want to do nothing no more. Ain't nobody got motivation no more. So like, yeah. and people love music. So why not like, you know, put two and two together. Y'all got some dope music. You got the uh, Imperfect, I'm Perfect joint, man. I was in the car listening, man. I really like uh, uh, God is a Woman. Yeah. And you had another song. I forgot to write down the song, but man, kind of explain what your thought process is. What, what, who, where did you get, where did you get the want to even rap? Ah, that's tough. Uh, I mean, I always like music, but like when I, um, when we linked up, it was more of a producing thing. Cause I was just like, I went to producing school for like two semesters and I was just, I was just trying to get into the music field. I didn't really want to rap, but like I started as I was making beats and just listening to beats, I started rapping on the beats and then it was just kind of like, you know, I can do it. Like, I think it was kind of like a nervous thing. Like, and then when I met him and like, we met up about it, you know, with the team, um, I played some of the records for him and he was just like, I think we should really rap. And I kind of like thought it over, which I already knew I wanted to rap. It was kind of like I needed that, that push and then that was, that but God is a woman that's about um it's about my mom. Mm. Uh, being raised by a woman and being like in light of God, most people view God as a man, but like God is all of us for real, but like God is a woman in my eyes for real. You know, how she raised me and took care of me and my disability, being an area hospital visit, you know, just pushing me to do better stuff like that. Yeah. I don't I don't wanna push too much, but uh can you kinda uh go on Explain, because the first verse on there is kind of deep. You're kind of talking about your disability. Can you kind of yeah, explain what it is? Yeah, uh, I was, when I um, left CCU at the college I went to, uh, I got sick. I actually got pneumonia, so that's why I stopped going to college. But like, when I was in the hospital for 22 days, uh, I caught uh, my lungs that collapsed. And, like, it was just like a mixture of a lot of uh, shit going on. Like, like, from just being kicked out of school, it was cold, getting pneumonia, lungs collapsing. Like, just being in the hospital, it was just kind of like, damn, like, when am I going to catch a break? And, you know, it was just tough because I've been dealing with, like, sicknesses my whole life. But, like, I'm solid now. You use, you, do you use that as kind of like um, inspiration for some of your rhymes? It's kind of like one of my biggest inspirations, but I try to, I try not to make it that. Yeah. But it, it, I can't not make it that because that's what it is. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it's appreciated, man, when you can like, cause it make you an individual too. So you never know who you reaching with your voice. Like, you not somebody told me you not you for you. You you for people who watching you. Yeah. Right. You might be getting somebody through their day just cause they see the strength in what you doing. Yeah. Right. We starting to see that now too. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, what about you, Rebel? Kind of say, uh, where'd you get the want to rap? You started early. Um, yeah, I started really, really early. Um, when I was younger, I was like a town boy. I used to always want to be around the boys. And my biggest influence was my uncle. And I used to follow him around Avondale, trying to be a boy, do everything he did. And he always, his biggest, um, his favorite rapper was Wayne. So every day, all we listened to was Wayne playing track over track over track over track. And I remember my uncle used to write like he was writing like Wayne, like he start he stopped writing, he just start freestyling. And I was like, well, I want to do that. If you can do it, I want to do what you do. And my uncle was like, ten years older than me, so I want to be like him. And over time, he wanted to be like him and rapping, it just came naturally. And then the family behind me was like, you got to keep going, keep going, and because you got a natural talent for it. And then. Like in 2009 or 8, I want to say, I created, well, put together a female rap group. And we took off for a minute, but you know, female groups don't go too far. <laughs> we dismantled. <laughs> Y'all was fighting, uppercutting each other? <laughs> it was a lot of that. And it was a lot, I think it was more so, the type of person I am, I'm a little bossy, but I'm very dedicated. <laughs> Look and at I'm, the facial expressions of the other members of the group. A little, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm more of like, I'm a pusher, and I wanted us to go further, and they just, that wasn't their passion, you could tell. So, it took for my cousin to remind me of my passion again, because I definitely was ready to just be like, forget it. Let me go be a lawyer or a psychologist or something. And my cousin was like, nah, like, it's your natural talent, like, let's go, let's do this. So, yeah. I guess I credit him for remember with yeah, I guess I'm crazy. Hey, rap is a psychology, man. Especially when you you being introspective and being real with your lyrics and talking about sure. the things that you go through, man.